Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to Homesteading Off the Grid and another morning ramble and another inspirational ornaments dedication. Didn't those Christmas crayons look beautiful uh, in those little eastern red cedar trees covered with a light dusting of snow? As of this recording, it's 5 December 2018, and this is officially our first day of morning, uh, or our first day of snowfall here in uh, at least my part of Central Virginia, Albemarle County, Virginia. Um, and it's beautiful. <clears throat> my son got up. Uh, it was still dark. He got up to go to the bathroom, and I knew I shouldn't have told him that there was snow outside, but I did, and he was so excited to see it. Because remember, he was born in the Philippines, so he's only seen, I think this is the fourth time in his life he's seen snow, and he was so excited. And uh, see, and I've been waiting for snow for some time, as many of you know, if you've heard that story. So anyway, <clears throat> I want to get straight to the dedications, because then I want to talk to you about uh, the judge's order because his decision is final and it's all about uh, eagles eggs baby eagles um, and vultures what's crazy lake talking about now well we're going to get to it okay first we had almost 50 uh, requests for ornaments of inspiration and christmas crayons come in last night we got them i replied to you guys in the comments gonna just read read through some of them here real quick give you a shout out and talk about what the judge said and his final decision uh which stands true and it, i mean just, it is what it is folks okay number one glitter pixie got a crayon up for forgiving her father in his death after his death cindy e a blue crayon uh for some family estrangement issues john kendrick who is going to go see his father who just had a stroke he's going to go see his father for the first time in more than 10 years they've been estranged john good luck with that um lisa atkins loss of several loved ones maria m a pink crayon for healing. Maria, we're with you. Patrick L. for uh, his grandfather, who was a World War II vet. Patrick's now the proud owner of uh, the watch that his grandfather carried across Europe with him during the war. Jerry Russell. Uh, we've got a crayon up for you, Jerry, for the domestic violence in your family that's taken place. Joy Stevens <coughs> for uh, her cat, Simba. Sorry you lost your fur, baby. I've got one. Uh, thoughts and prayers, uh, best wishes, and, and meditative practices coming to you. Sherry Malone for her 90-year-old mother who suffers from chronic pain. <clears throat> Rebel the Ex-Apologist, one of my favorite subscribers. She doesn't hold anything back. Yellow Crayon for your special request, Rebel. Sorry you had to endure that. Uh, Easter Bell got a crayon for her friend Sue. William Coe, hoo Sergeant. You got two crayons for those two people you mentioned. Cal Marsh, Cal Marsh, sorry to hear you going through a divorce, but I commend you on accepting it and moving forward with your new beginning. Uh, Stuart Bradley, uh, end stage kidney disease, and for others who suffer from kidney disease, uh, you got your crayon, Mr. Bradley. Mel C, struggling with some depression right now. Mel, you've got your crayon. Pat Wagner for her friend Tiffany, and Pat, we hope you're still recovering from the heart surgery you had about a week ago. Nikki P, 4444. Uh, a blue crayon for her 11-year-old granddaughter, Aubrey, who lost her sister uh, in a recent, uh, uh, well, yeah, it was this summer, I guess. Uh, we shared that story in detail here some time ago. Nikki, our hearts still go out to you. Brock Airy, you got a crayon for your mother. Anthony Hebling. Uh, Anthony Hebling's doing something very nice today. <clears throat> we're, ha we've hung we're hanging up a crayon here this morning. I haven't hung them up yet. They're ready to go, but I'm doing this first, and I'll be hanging them. Uh, for a homeless veteran that Anthony knows that today he's giving a coat, a hot meal, and a box of crayons. <clears throat> um, Anthony Helbig, Helbing, please at least talk to that vet too about his options. There is a VA somewhere close to you. Please, I know a lot of these guys know this and just choose not to do anything about it. That was me for some time. Uh, but have that talk, please, Anthony. Okay, uh, Alex Van Drummer for Lonely People. A crayon up for Lonely People. The holidays can be tough for Lonely People. You've got your crayon, Alex. Andrea Craig, uh, for who her mother is starting chemo. Andrea has been with us for a long time. Andrea, our thoughts, prayers, best wishes, and meditative practices are going out for your mother. Um, Pam Z, uh, she was Pam Z. Yes, I put up a crown for my family, me dearly, and Daniel, and I'm doing it because about 50 or 100 people have asked this. So, guys, the crown's up. Thank you very much. Um, Jan and Dave S, estrangement from children. Feel your pain. Uh, Vaughn Billy for grandparents who are who are raising grandchildren. There's a lot of that going on in our society. I guess 
like in the last 20 years, there's now more grandparents raising their grandchildren in American society than at any time in our nation's history. So crayons up for those folks going through that. Number 25, Lori Goldsmith uh, for a death in a family. Lori, you've got your crayon. Debbie P, two crayons for two family, two family losses. Um, Rachel Ritter for your sister Melissa. I read all of your comment, Rachel, um, and I agree with you. Thank you for, for all that you said about mental illness. Uh, Kim Mailhot for friends Kristen and Adam. You've got your friends have their crayon, Kim. Let them know. Uh, Stringfield Ridge Farm. Uh, they they were talking about a very special 25-year-old man named Jacob in their community who uh, is uh, autistic, I believe, and he he has a job at the local telephone company. He shreds paper and brings sunshine sunshine into everybody's day. So, uh, guys, there at Stringfield Ridge Farm, this special person Jacob has a crayon up. Thanks for bringing him to our attention. Marlia Hatch for her mother, Jordan Rivera for her husband, whose father and uncle were killed in a car crash many years ago when her husband was still a child. Lisa Wall for the estrangement from a daughter. Teresa M. Yesterday was her 60th birthday. Happy birthday, Teresa. You got a crayon. Um, she, Teresa mentioned some rough emotional times she's going through right now. Teresa, you've got a crayon hanging down here in our field for you. O tooling around O. A green crayon for son Patrick, a 19-year-old veteran who, who, who lost his life at his own hands. Sorry for your loss. 22 a day, folks. 22 veterans a day. Uh, growing up Maine. <clears throat> there's car wreck headaches fortunately no one's too seriously injured but now they're getting to deal with those fun headaches from the insurance company of who's to blame who's to how long do they drag it out to get you to settle for less money and all that stuff so you've got a crayon for that dilemma um and that's it guys i rushed through them i'm sorry for that but <clears throat> there's so many coming in like i said almost 50 overnight we've hung hundreds of these crayons here over the last couple of days looks like we're going to end up hanging hundreds today keep them coming we'll hang them I've noticed a pattern here with a lot of the folks, the stories you tell. You know, I'm, I'm mentioning briefly a little bit about what's going on, and here soon as they come in faster and harder, I'm probably not even going to be able to do that. And again, like I mentioned in, uh, yesterday, I'm probably just going to be replying to you directly and exclusively on the on the, the channel in the comment section, but no, your crayons are going up. But uh, there's a lot of, so many of these comments that people tell their stories, there's still so much self-guilt going on. And, you know, I made a video about uh, self-forgiveness, and but there's something more going on I picked up here, and that has to do with, um, you know, I talked about, uh, you know, when we're holding on to the pain, it's like a cannonball. We're halfway submerged, halfway from the surface of the water and almost down to the bottom. And, and, and the longer we hold on to that and the longer we don't forgive ourselves for what happened, the longer we, we don't move forward, we're just there drowning. And I talked about how when we finally let go of that ball, it's for a reason, and it's not just to stay where we are, but it's to move forward, it's to float up, it's to go on with life. Now, here's an issue. Um, guys, and again, estrangement is, is painful. I know it personally myself, um, but let me tell you, uh, sometimes it's not a bad thing. Um, you know, for example's purposes, let's say something happened. Maybe it was a family issue, non-family issue, but let's say something happened, and even, you know, we're at fault. We deal with it, we struggle with the pain, we have that, that ball, we're clinging to it and we're under the water, but when that time finally comes that we realize, and this is where the judge comes in, I'm talking about former Supreme Court Justice Oliver, Oliver Wendell Holmes, who, now he, he said this quote, and um, Henry David Thoreau said something very similar, so they both are given credit for this, but it's very powerful, and it's basically thus. It's not what is behind you that is most important. And it's not even necessarily what is ahead of you that is most important. It's what is within you that matters most. And when we realize this, that's when we let go of that ball because we realize what is within us is somebody who wants to be happy. Somebody who understands we made mistakes in the past. We know that. We owned it. We let it go. Okay? Now, how do we get to that point? Um, Cat Hill, another one of our faithful subscribers, talked about this at length, something very similar to this today. And she basically pointed it out. How do we move forward once we've realized we're not who we were? We're not the things we've done. We're not the person maybe some people want to remember us as. How do we let go of that and move forward? It's a choice. And that choice is up to us and no one else. 
So let's say we've made that choice. Let's say we've dropped that ball. That ball doesn't always go straight to the bottom and stay there because unfortunately there are people out there who will see your ball, who will grab it before it hits the bottom and who will follow you around with that ball. You might see it, you might not see him for, for months, weeks, you might not see him for years. But anytime you come in contact with these people, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what you all. Hey, you remember when, and they bring it up. You know, you talk about how good the things in your life are. You talk about, I mean, and I've shared this, so I'm not, this isn't anything new. I'm going to use myself as an example. You talk about how, how great your family's doing, your beautiful bride, your healthy son. You talk about, great, we just spent over, you know, $2,000 on oral surgery, but his teeth are fixed. He's not in pain. He's not sick. It's great. He's healthy. I'm happy. And they say, oh, well, that's good. But how about those other three kids that you've not had contact with eight years? How are they doing? You ever wonder about that? Does that keep you up at night? You know what? People like that don't deserve to be in your life. What they've done is they've picked up that ball after you've let it go. Okay? That stuff's still there. It never goes away. But once you've made the choice to go with what Oliver Wendell Holmes, Supreme Court Justice, and Henry David Thoreau said, go with what's inside you to guide you forward, to go on to something better. To You know, I wrote something else down. I, I was Googling this to make sure I was giving proper quotations. I found a quote from Oliver Wendell Holmes. I'm going to read to you because this is very fitting. Uh, Justice Holmes said, Many people die with their music still in them. Too often it's because they are always getting ready to live, and before they know it, time is out. You have music inside you. You remember, and it, plug in my own book here, The Box. I've mentioned there's a quote, and I'll put it in the front of the book. Anyone can hear the music. Everyone can hear the music. But it's those who live outside the box who create it. There are always going to be, be people in your life from your past who want to remind you of the worst person you ever worried, your worst, lowest times. They want to put you back in that box. And when you break out of that box, they don't like it. They're not happy because it reminds them often of the box they're in. Their box is their business and your box that you've broken free from is none of theirs. Let go of that ball. Someone else picks it up and tries to give it back to you. Get away from them as quick as you can because you don't want it back. You let them keep it. Let them drown with their ball and the one that you gave up. And that's your morning ramble for today, people. Listen, the point of this is take it easy on yourself, okay? And once you've gotten to the point to where you have, don't tolerate anybody else who doesn't. So, guys, keep your requests coming. We got a lot of crayons, okay, and we got no problem getting more. We'll see you next time for more from here at Homesteading Off the Grid.